Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and it's really all about the west. Two storm combo and an Arctic front. Let's start out with a couple of live cams here uh, to get our get our orientation. And this is Sunshine Village in the Banff area, reporting like eight inches of snow in the last 24 hours. So this is the leading edge of the Arctic front that we'll be diving or racing south into parts of Montana, Idaho, and then eventually most of the Intermountain West. Um, so let me take you down into Whitefish. Beautiful view this morning. It is snowing there. You can, it's snowing in town. It's going to be turning much, much colder. And again, this is the leading edge. Areas like um, Montana, Idaho will really only be impacted by the northern edge, the initial wave of this cold air, the Arctic front, whereas areas further south like Utah and Colorado and New Mexico will get the full two-storm combo down there. So you'll have much bigger numbers. Um, but beautiful view up in Whitefish. Probably going to get five, six inches of snow out of this Schweitzer. You've got probably three or four inches on the way. That's the view. Here's the setup right now. The storm, which I think I talked about yesterday, is getting kind of cut off. But what the ultimate um, plan is, or what it's going to do, is it's going to amplify the jet way up like this, and then it's going to dive down. It's going to grab all that Arctic air and plunge it into the Intermountain West. Here's your leading edge of the Arctic air, somewhere right in there, and that's why it's snowing up in Sunshine and Idaho and Montana. All this energy back here will become part of the two-storm combo that will go up over the top and then end up over the West, in the Intermountain West, for most of next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe even a Thursday morning. Let me show you what um, the GFS thinks about uh, all of this, its interpretation. Uh, let me take you, uh, and here comes the Arctic front uh, today into Monday morning, diving down through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and into Utah during the day on Monday. So your snow will be picking up. Um, and then notice it's on its way down into Colorado. It just absolutely races in during the day Monday into Monday night. Snows very hard in the mountains of Colorado Monday afternoon, Monday night, Tuesday morning. Now, because it's a two-storm combo, uh, Colorado, Utah, you may have a lull in the action between Storm 1 and Storm 2. And you can see Storm 2 coming down through California. That's the one that I think primarily produces the... the the better amounts of snow in California. And this is like the first snow, real snow for California in so long. It's gotta be over 40 some days. I mean, it's gotta be a long time. I'd have to get the numbers on that, but there it is. It drops down through Tahoe, Shasta, and then into Mammoth. Okay, so here comes the second storm. This is the one coming out of California that re-intensifies the snow in Utah, especially Southern Utah re-intensifies the snow in western and southwest Colorado and in northern New Mexico. Um, it just absolutely pushes all the moisture into much colder Arctic air. So we're talking much bigger snow um, ratios. All right, so here we go. There's Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night. Here's Thursday morning. It pulls away, moves into the, uh, the heartland. Done with that. One minor little front coming in on the backside. You can see it in Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado for Friday. Maybe into Saturday. I've seen differences in the timing. But there you go. Then we'll be back to high pressure across the West for next weekend. So how much are we talking about here? My numbers all of today through the 24th, and they're big. Um, I'm holding firm at about a foot there in the Wasatch Moor in southern Utah, one to two feet, Brian Head, about a foot for the uh, the Tetons as well. And then notice the lower amounts in Montana, Idaho, because again, you're only going to get hit by that initial surge, and then that's it. In Colorado, one to two feet, I-70 north, but two to three feet through western Colorado, Aspen Snowmass, Crested Butte, down through southwest and southern Colorado, two to three feet. Um, one to two feet in Tahoe, about a foot Angel Fire, six to 12 through Ski Santa Fe. Again, that's all um, going to capture things through the 24th. Here is phase two, and notice not much additional. Um, that little front that comes south, and that's probably going to be about it. Um, I've got two snow plumes. This one is for Wolf Creek, three feet on the way for Wolf Creek. Um, feel pretty good about that. Um, you can see the numbers there for Wolf Creek. Um, there's your three feet and then another inch or two behind that with that tiny little front on the back side. Here's Crested Butte, two feet on the way um, through the 24th, and then another one to two inches coming in with that tiny front on the back side. Um, let's talk the Northeast. So the Northeast, these numbers come from two storms. It's the two storms that hit the west. They'll move out of the west and then move into the northeast. But the first storm is going to be warm, primarily rain. By the end of the week, the second storm coming out of the west will be much colder. And that's where these numbers really come from. Um, probably a foot up through Vermont, northern New Hampshire, northern Maine. And again, that comes late in the week with the second storm system. 
So let's end again on this across the West. Um, again, the two storm combo with the Arctic front, finally some snow for California. The big numbers are in the Intermountain West, especially in Colorado. Um, I think the setup looks really good uh, for Colorado all the way through the end of the week. So there you go, guys. Plan accordingly. Um, it should be pretty good, especially once we get that colder air in there. That really sets the stage for the bigger numbers. Thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.